My name is Chiman Archevan. I have a retail shoe store in Grahamstown and one, one in Port Alfred. I also own the Mustard Seed, which is a health shop in the Pepper Grove Mall. I run the business myself. And uh, my son, I only have one son. Knights is the oldest running shoe shop in South Africa. I bought this business in 1985. When I bought this business from Mr. Quick, apartheid was still very much in force. I couldn't take possession of the place because I was not the right color. But uh, so in the end, I had, to, I had to rent from him. My own property, I had to rent from him. It took about a year and a half before I finally owned the, owned the building. People ask me, didn't you find apartheid, didn't the Indians here find apartheid very constrictive? And why didn't you guys fight back more? But apartheid was nothing to us compared to what we've been through in India. Now my, I mean, my grandparents were shoemakers. Now shoemaking in India is a very low cost. So there were lots of restrictions, social restrictions on us. My family came here in 1905 from um, a small village in Gujarat in, on the west coast of India. I was born in Grahamstown and um, I was, well, I've lived here all my life expect, except for two periods when I left to, to study overseas. The Indians were very close, they were very close, it was almost like a little village community and they would know everything about everybody else and it was close, close, close. We had a little hall there which served as a place of worship and a meeting place for us. It was demolished by the government because they said they want, it was in the way of urban renewal. I was very young and hot-headed hot that time and we just wouldn't accept what they gave us. They, we tried to push us into all kinds of little corners just to get us out. In. But now we said we want a place to worship, because as a community we had nowhere to worship. We were praying in each other's homes. Every Sunday we would meet in somebody else's home. Every time we had a meeting, no, it was everybody agreed that we need a temple, but nobody wanted to build a cat. But then I said, no, that's nonsense. I said, we know we can't carry on like this. So I said, I would stand up and get involved. To me, shoes is not just about making a living. So I know the shoe process from sourcing the raw materials right down to designing shoes to, f to a finished product. So it's very much a passion.